to find the image of a convex uh, spherical mirror, we're going to use again our three special rays, the one that is parallel that will go through the focal point, the one that goes through the focal point will become parallel, and the one that goes to the center is reflected as if there would be uh, a plane mirror here. And uh, now with the concave mirror, we have figured out that that kind of behaves like a, a converging lens, where an object left of the focal point will produce a real image, and an uh, object on the right of the focal point will create a spherical image. So we expect here uh, to get similar behavior, like with the diverging lens, meaning that we get a virtual image. Similar to the diverging lens, the focal distance is given uh, as a negative number, meaning that we're going to be using the focal point on the other side. Or here we use the focal point on the left side to draw the rays. Here we're going to use the one on the right side. And just to remember how do you figure out the focal distance if you know the radius of the mirror. So the magnitude of your focal distance is the radius over 2. So let's start with our special rays. And uh, start with a parallel one. So a parallel ray is spread out. It's diverging. So in my convex mirror is kind of like a diverging lens. The parallel rays do not really meet in a focal point. They spread out, but if you backtrack them, it looks like they all would have come from that one focal point. One that is aimed at the focal point should become parallel to the central axis. And last but least, not least, the one that goes to the center of my mirror, so here, will behave as incoming angle is equal to outgoing angle. And I have found, as suspected, a virtual image.